Uh, this course is called The Environmental History of New York City. I teach it in conjunction with the New York uh, Historical Society, which is right here. Students are visiting today. And we'll be here eight times in the semester. There'll be four museum visits and four library visits. Today's a library visit. And students are looking at images, maps having to do with the water system of New York City, disease like cholera and yellow fever, and how it intersects with the natural environment of New York City, and also the Erie Canal how water conveyed trade from New York City up the Hudson River and all the way to the Great Lakes. Um, so the New York Historical Society is the oldest museum in the city of New York and the second oldest museum in the country. It was founded in 1804, just after the events of the American Revolution, to basically act as um, a record-keeping center for everything that had, the country had just undergone. The founders understood that if you wanted to be a country and be a player on the world stage, you needed to have a history, you needed to have a record that you could fall back on to say, this is what it means to be American. I'm also... Uh from New York, so um, born and raised in Brooklyn, um, but I did not know much about New York history until we had this class. Um, so it's actually really important to me that I get to know what uh, the history of New York, just because I, I did grow up here, like, I, like I've lived here all my life, and I'm very, very proud of being from Brooklyn and being from New York, so. Mm, I think being from a place that I'm not like proud, like. Yeah, Connecticut. Like, that's <laughs> something I just rep all the time. So it's, like, fun interacting with people who are from New York and have that pride, but then also learning about New York, like, at the same time. Like, we're both learning new things. That's yeah, really and this fun. is your home now. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, like, what, what we did today, like, talking about, like, the water sources. I'm, uh, I'm from Queens, so I live here. Uh, and so, I mean, you know, you're, I'm learning about basically where I get all my water from, like, and how that, you know, how that system developed. So uh, I think that's... Um, it's good to be aware of and then also teaches you like uh, makes you appreciate you know the access that we have to like those resources. I love to sit down with students and talk to them about things that at first seem completely esoteric. A lot of the young people I work with are like why should I care about this? This person doesn't look like me. This person lived 300 years ago. This person is dead. Um, and then by the end of that conversation they're starting to draw parallels into their own lives and they're asking really meaningful questions about why did this happen this way and why didn't they rethink the matter and do it a different way. And that that's the way we start to build towards change. Well, being here and being surrounded by these primary source documents, it really ties you into the history that you're talking about in class and that you're writing about in your essays, and it makes it so much more personal when you're reading like somebody's letter that they wrote to their brother in you know, the 17th century. It really makes these people from the past so much more real.